Right, we've got a fiddly little job this morning. Um, what it is, the on the um, bog belly spreader, the way cell isn't working, or at least it's not registering on the um, controller. And the KRM who distribute it seem to think 90% uh, of the time it's this um, this plug on the machine side and the terminals get green internally and the slightest bit of that and you start getting problems this is a 2007 so it's sort of 15 years old so that's they seem to think that's what 90% of the time that's what it will be so they said make sure you cut it back a, like about yay far because sometimes the copper wires they do go a bit black and that don't they um, and then solder on Whoop. that's gone a new piece which they got here now just if anyone is watching this and thinking oh yeah mine's doing that this item here I didn't ask I have to admit because they go oh yeah well it's a lot cheaper just to put a new end on than um, put a way cell on I, what I actually wanted was to check the way cell um, now and I normally check things like this but I didn't so it's my fault on the end here is a number around there which you can make out and you can make it out even better on the new one now they charged I think it was a hundred and thirty odd quid for this item um, if you put that in the internet you can get these for like 15 pound um, it's a standard plug uh, so that's somewhat galling uh, because that's the sort of thing I normally check um, but I was in a hurry and just thought yeah right not expecting it to be like that so um, that's my fault anyway I shall cut this off and uh, see how it looks but yeah I recommend getting the number there shoving it in the internet and you'll get it a hell of a lot cheaper Right, well this is where the fun begins. So we've got to do some careful noting of where all these um, wires go and the colours and numbers and everything else. Otherwise we could end up in a bit of a pickle. Um, so I've got here um, a pad and a pen I shall take a picture but I've also got this well you might be able to see it on me uh, there one of those um, and that's really useful you've got all these different lenses here uh, I got it at Christmas and uh, I mainly bought it for making I, I, as a hobby I make little plastic kits uh, which is why I got it but I use it out here on the farm all the time. Um, probably because my eyesight's going a bit, but you can really focus in on things like this, um, which is very useful. So I'll make some notes and go from there. Okay, well, it's coming along. Um, it seems to be going quite well now. Um, it got a lot better as that got hotter so I've got a few more to do oh and this one and that and that shielding wire has got to be put in a sheath somehow so that'll be fun um, but anyway I should carry on it's going all right right well it's successfully done so all the pins are through as far as they should it looks the same pattern as the old one as long, well it is the same pattern as the old one and let's just hope I haven't put any wires in the wrong place because you can't get them out once they're in but I'm pretty sure um, that's all good so um, 
next time we use it, which probably won't be very long, we'll see if that's cured the problem. Hopefully it has. Um, otherwise I'll have to start working out how to test a um, waste cell. Or the control box. But anyway, let's, let's hope that's done it. Um, so just pack all this stuff up and probably find something else to mend.